brought to you by... Many of us would like to forget our trauma. We want to just turn the page and leave the past, well, in the past. Confronting trauma is one of the hardest things that anyone can face, which is why we often avoid it. However, sometimes confrontation is unavoidable and can spiral into unexpected horrors that we are in no way ready for. Hello friends and welcome back to ETF. As I have said many times in the past, I grew up during a time in my life where I was seeking out truly horrifying things. I sought out the most disturbing and most shocking acts of violence ever put to film. This choice in direction naturally led me into the glory of New French Extremity and films such as Frontiers, Inside, and Martyrs, which I will get to eventually. Recently, I came across something new from one of my favorite directors of the genre, whose sensibility seems to align with exactly what I was looking for, allowing me to experience an incident in a ghost land. Released in 2018, Incident in a Ghostland is a horror film directed by Pascal Laguerre. Now, I became familiar with this director from his film Martyrs, which to me is possibly one of the most profound new French extremity films that has ever been made. I have since followed his later work in films such as 2012's The Tall Man, which while good, wasn't what I had hoped it to be. Known for his unique and disturbing style of storytelling, he weaves a tale of terror here that delves into the darkest corners of the human mind. The film's production, themes, reception, and visual look all contribute to its status as a gripping and haunting psychological thriller. This production is marked by Laguerre's meticulous attention to detail and his commitment to creating a visually stunning and emotionally charged film. The screenplay, which he also wrote, is a masterful blend of horror and psychological thriller elements, which he uses to craft a story that is both shocking and thought-provoking. The film's budget was relatively modest, but the director's creative vision and skillful direction make it a standout entry into the genre. Visually, this film is a stunning example of his directorial prowess, the film's visual look is categorized by its juxtaposition of beauty and horror, with the serene countryside setting of the family's new home providing a stark contrast to the brutal and visceral violence that unfolds within its walls. Laguerre uses clever visual techniques, such as juxtaposing bright colors with dark and disturbing imagery, to create a sense of unease and disorientation. The film's cinematography and production design work together to create a haunting and otherworldly atmosphere that adds to the overall sense of dread and terror. One of the strengths of this film is its ability to create and sustain a tense atmosphere. Laguerre employs a non-linear narrative, keeping the audience on the edge of their seats as they piece together the puzzle of the family's horrifying experiences. The unsettling ambiance is enhanced by a chilling soundtrack and well-executed cinematography, adding to the overall sense of unease. The performances of the cast contribute significantly to the film's impact. Milanay Farmer delivers a powerful portrayal of the mother, 
capturing the desperation and resilience required to protect her daughters in the face of unimaginable horror. Crystal Reed and Anastasia Phillips also shine in their roles, conveying the vulnerability and strength of the sisters as they confront the nightmarish events. Coming back to the notable aspect of the film, its nonlinear narrative structure, by weaving together past and present timelines, the audience is kept in suspense, gradually uncovering the layers of the family's disturbing experiences. This storytelling technique not only adds complexity to the plot, but also engages the viewers, as they piece together the puzzle of the character's traumatic history. One of the prominent psychological themes explored in this film is the long-lasting impact of trauma on the human psyche. The main characters, a mother named Pauline and her two daughters, Beth and Vera, endure a harrowing home invasion that results in physical and psychological trauma. The film delves into the aftermath of these traumatic events, depicting the character's struggles with fear, guilt, and the enduring psychological scars that trauma can leave behind. The film portrays how trauma can shatter one's sense of reality and disrupt the fragile balance of their mind. Memory and perception are also central themes here. The film raises questions about the reliability and malleability of memory, as the character's recollections of the traumatic events are challenged and distorted over time. The film explores how memory can be subjective, influenced by one's emotions, fears, and perceptions. It portrays how traumatic experiences can blur the lines between reality and nightmare, creating a sense of unreality and confusion in the character's minds. This one also delves into the psychological concept of disassociation, which is a coping mechanism that some individuals may employ in response to trauma. Disassociation is depicted in the film through the character's detachment from reality, as they struggle to reconcile their traumatic experiences with their perceptions of the world around them. The film portrays how disassociation can manifest in various forms, such as fragmented memories, altered perceptions of time, and a sense of detachment from one's own emotions and surroundings. The reception of Incident in a Ghost Land has been mixed, with some audiences and critics praising its unflinching approach to horror and psychological storytelling, while others find it too disturbing and unsettling. However, the film has garnered a dedicated following of fans, who appreciate its unique and challenging take on the genre. Its shocking and provocative nature has sparked discussions and debates among viewers, adding to its reputation as a polarizing but impactful film. For me, Incident in a Ghost Land was a gripping and intense psychological thriller that delves into the darkest aspects of the human mind. Each aspect contributes to its reputation as a challenging and thought-provoking film. Laguerre's meticulous attention to detail, unflinching storytelling, and unique visual style make it a standout entry into the horror genre, leaving a lasting impression on viewers who, who dare to journey into its dark and disturbing world. Few filmmakers dare to explore the blurred lines between reality and delusion, this one raises thought-provoking questions about the nature of fear and the enduring impact of traumatic experiences on the human mind. The script is layered and thoughtfully crafted, leaving room for interpretation and further discussion. friends, that's gonna be all for now. I hope you enjoyed this one. I love diving into new French extremity films, and I can't wait to cover more of them here on the channel. As always, take my opinions for what they're worth, but please, I urge you to formulate your own. I've put a link down in the description on where you can get a copy of this film for your collection. I really hope some of you check it out. I think it's well worth a watch. I probably could have dived even deeper into this one, and who knows, maybe I will someday. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe for more content, and if you really want to help support this channel, please come find us on Patreon. Every little bit helps this channel grow and gets us closer to that goal of being able to make videos like these for you full time. Until next time, stay safe, confront your trauma, and thanks for watching.